Go back to the beginning. So G, E minor, B minor, G augmented, and now C. Now for the four, or we would usually want to use a four minor on the back, way back to the one. So if I'm playing way up, it's going to change my melody because my melody is the third of the C. So. This is going to clash with a minor because the minor has a flat and third in it. So instead of using a minor to get back to the G, we'll use a C7 flat 9. Way up. And that won't clash with my melody. And now we talked about that mediant minor, the 3. So instead of playing the G, I can also use a B minor. And just like we talked about before, that we have the relative minor of, of the D, which was B minor. That's a substitution for the V chord. We can also make the B minor a substitution for the G, because it's the same as a G major 7th, basically, except for the different bass ends. So it's G, B minor, B minor, then G augmented, C. Seven flat nine, and then B minor seven. E diminish, and that's walking down with it. And then C. Now we're going to use that C minor, but we don't have too much room beneath that, so we just use a smaller C minor. So, and then G, E7, augmented, but that's really just because of the melody, and then A, and then G7, or D7, with a flat 9. So that's also like an F sharp diminished. So we have G, E minor, B minor, G augmented, C, C7 flat 9, B minor 7, B diminished, C, C minor, G. We can walk down with that base of the F. Chromatically walk into the E. E augmented. A. And D7 flat G. So we're not worried about learning a song in a repertoire. We're we're wanting to break little things down into a one, four, five, and then expound upon them by adding substitution chords. And I should be able to take that in the key of C. Same progressions and play it from this inversion or from here, doesn't matter. Or So instead of this, I might opt for the B flat nine. So that's a very simple way to do it. I should be able to do that in any key immediately and with any song. And you have to just start slowly by doing them with the simple songs first. So uh, take a song you know and start working out the melody through the 1-4-5. Then transpose it to a different 1-4-5. So we'll start in the key of C, move to the key of G, key of D, A, E, and so on. And then go back and try to add the relative minors as as they sound right and your ear will dictate that. Mm -hmm. 